Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. What's good, you guys? Shirako ZXTV talking to right now. Welcome to the newest series onto the channel. Alrighty then, I'm hearing some music in the background. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. Um, this game was announced back in 2017. There have there hasn't been any new updates until recently. And here we are today. They finally released it after three years later. So if you're happy today's episode, make sure that like button support is greatly appreciated to the channel. If this is Atlas that we are talking about, then we'll see how this goes. There better be not be some copyright law that says, oh, you can only go up to X amount of whatever in this game. And then, bam, copyright strike. I'd be so hot if that happens. At least I like an audio language. Audio can be changed anytime. English, let's go. I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. As you said, a kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. May 27, 4.30 p.m. What the heck is going on? Am I inside the robot? What the? Where did my clothes go? Is this automate? Automatic or? Warning. Dino signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Please tell me it's just automatic or else I'll be pressing buttons. Three, two, one. What's that? My voice? I'm assuming that I have to press the button because the moment I press it, it automatically moves on. So, just like that, right away. So, it's, it's coming this way. Oh, how do I move this thing? For you, Saka Kun. Sekigahara's Sentinel. Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight. Time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this? Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the sensor. 
sentinel sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but... How's this? To control your pilot, move the cursor over our pilot and select X. Once the menu is open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using automatic machine cannons. What? What? Whoa, 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 excuse you! Small crawling kaiju equipped with a low output beam gun. Though it may be the weakest among the kaiju, it's still at, still at 8 meters, millimeter, whatever, in length of the major threat to humans. Most ex excavator beam. You said X or what? What the heck am I doing? This is their gameplay? If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Oh, where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? So, action. Destroy the enemy using multi rocket launchers. Adjust the attack branch with the L. Did you not just see? I just figured out by itself without having this tutorial. Okay. So, what is this? Chess or something? Doesn't matter where I'm firing at. Uh, doesn't matter. Go for it. there and and we're just saying eight bits of it that's all number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system backup has, is on its way sentinel number 13 activated hey the game name We're gonna have a backstory into this. Select action, then select heavy knuckles, use blah blah. This action. Just watch. Go for it. Physical oh, no. attack move. What a pilot. That really isn't Izumi. Can we get like 3D action instead of 2D chess? Victory! It? The city is 99% save, while 1% is burning down. But it was really like that when we got there. Oh, so there's gonna be like 13 stories to this? Oh boy, we're gonna be here for a while. So this is the Juro Kurorabe story. And then if we ever finish that story, we're gonna move on to Fuyusaka san's story. Then whatever that guy was, and then so on and so forth. Oh boy. Let's see how long this gets. What's the options? Uh, auto events. What does that mean? Dialogue. I think, hopefully. 
Auto advance weight, blah blah. Oh boy. Let's see how this goes. The story of Jiro Kurabe. 1985? This again? What is going on? Come on, Jiro. Let's go home. Shibakun. Basic controls use L to move and press X to talk people. Okay, 2D, can we please? What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Thought Cloud, sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a key word. Press the triangle to open the thought cloud to select and contemplate keywords. Consider. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecca, don't you, Jiro? When this option is available, a triangle will appear above their head. Videotape? Use the keyword videotape. Here you go. Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing this stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Hold circle to move faster. Okay, next we at we talk to Fuyusaka-san. Fuyusaka-san's asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. So we wake her up, right? She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Uh, she always consider. seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. That's I can't odd. Help but be a little curious about her. She always seems to be sleeping. I... Okay. Now what? Hey, by the way. I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh crap. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. So, where, who should we talk to now? Shall Those we go two? Home, uh, sorry. I've I got guess with someone. we just wake her up. Let me guess. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. K 
can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I'm going home now. Look, see you tomorrow. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. I should get going too. <sighs> what? I know I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your hey, fault I'm for sorry. keeping I'll secrets from me. Next time. <sighs> hey. Could you move? Sorry. I love the view from the old classroom. What was that about? Excuse you, what? We gotta catch that guy in quick. Guy? Do you wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. They're just waiting for me to play him. They're really supporting me. But the sucky thing is. Maybe I should He's never around too. unless you make plans. It's about time for me to go home. Why the heck are you talking so loud in the back? Is my question. Like, god damn. That's what I want to know. Who's who again? Oh, that's girl. There you go. Amiguchi kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. This is 1985 we're talking about? Shiba kun's a bit of a class clown, but he's a good... You know, Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. All right, so... Let's head to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come... Kurabi-kun. Okay, loudmouth, what do you want? Kurabi-kun. What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? I guess. If it's on the way, then we'll do it. Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Stack of papers has been added to the thought cloud. Keywords are alerted to display. Blah blah. Stack of papers. Okay, I guess we'll do it once we get there. Where's our stuff at? Let's head to the grab your stuff. Um, about that. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Additional controls hold R1 to fast forward. Well, I'm going to pass on on read text, blah blah. Options menu, blah blah. I think I already got that. Okay. Oh boy, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Let's exit the classroom. To the nurse's office we go. Probably 10 more minutes and then we'll cut it to the next episode. Well, this is just our daily school life. Sakura High School. She's not here. No nurse. More stack of, stacks of paper. What should I do with these papers? Leave it on the desk. Can I just leave them here? Yes, sir. <clears throat> There's a document with my picture on it excuse what me what is this 
I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabekun. Hello, nurse. Here you go, nurse. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabekun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shibakun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Karabekun. Yes, nurse. Oh, How is my. your current condition? Condition? What are you talking about? My condition. You know. Any heart palpitations? Oh my. Headaches. I Even think enough sleep at night. No oh, man you ask. There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? Oh, let's not That's go there. A bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine, really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Super drugs. All right. Well, Boy, you're still here. Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Same day, heading home. What the heck? Keaki Cho Shopping District. What's up? Something wrong? Couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty handed. What? That old ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Okay, do we just keep on going or let's keep on walking down and see what's up? Isn't responding. Miracle? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Miracoon. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything alright? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13, transmitting. Don't tell me, are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. Well, that's like a bomb site over there. She Set up a over there. Wait, oh, well. it looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot! What are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that? 
Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? Hey, we cleared the, the prologue. Karabi's prologue cleared. What? Okay. I guess this is it for today's episode. Whatever this is. Like, comment, subscribe. Shark is like, see what I'm signing out.